Welcome back to Let's Play Master of Orion 2. I'm Get Daved. So, we're in the middle of a fight here. The enemy has one extremely scary weapon, and the rest aren't that bad. And it's that little green thing right there. A little torpedo. Uh, so, we are going to do everything we can to make them not get that torpedo off. I'm targeting only the ships that have those torpedoes. Uh, they've only got that one left. And his forward shields are down, so... I think he's in a pretty big amount of trouble. And now he's dead, which I would say would be even more trouble. Okay, now the challenge is going to be getting these guys to hit ships in the same shield arc, because we don't want to spread out our offense, so... And they ran. Always nice when the enemy runs when they see that they have the exact same size of force as you do. It's a good acknowledgement of superiority. Alright, and we took the planet. And we got really long range fuel cells. Some of the technology they have is just scary. I'm gonna go for Imperium because I really want to be able to have a larger fleet supported. Astro University we just researched, uh, it's kind of crappy. No, we don't want to genocide them. And a Robo Miner plant after that. Make them happy. I don't know if they're less likely to rebel if uh, they're happy, but I try to play as if they do. Lepus is uh, producing transports for me. I'm actually going to pile... No, they virtually do not contribute to research. Never mind that. I kind of want to get Imperium researched a little faster than it's on pace for. But I've got so many colonies that are just on the brink of really great things, but still not there quite yet. See, like they just finished a battle station, but I need to get the population of this place back up. Yeah, and they're not significantly contributing to research on a scale like that. This place is ultra rich. Boy, do I look forward to churning out ships from all three of these places. Once I have the Imperium, that'll be very doable. Now the Baron 2. Uh, get you guys working on the terraforming soon, and then you'll live in a paradise. And wow. Huge population here. Um Wow, they've got pretty decent production, considering this world is poor or something. Oh no, it's rich. Alright, that explains it. Uma is starting to get back on its feet. Remember, they got bombed into the ground a few videos ago. That was pretty awesome. I was super excited to be playing this game again this morning, and uh... Yeah, first thing that happens is the Antarents come and nuke the place. It was, uh, it would have been funny if, uh, you know, it weren't such a disappointing loss. Fine, you guys can import more of your food. Actually, build a couple things so you won't have to make food at all for yourself for a while. Fund here is close to coming around. And we have some more transport ships, so... Let's send them to Bubby this for now. Oki doesn't need a ship orbiting it. Get it out of there. Teelum doesn't need a ship orbiting it anymore. Get you out of there. Pund, I think, still does. Uma still does. 
rich, and then you've got a battle station. Panda's getting close, that's nice. Alright, so... I'm just gonna check the infographs. In fleet, I'm actually pretty big. You can see the dips where I've beaten up the Sakura. Technology, I'm skyrocketing into the lead, which is nice. Buildings, I'm skyrocketing. The Mechlar are pretty high up, that's interesting. Nice to see the Sakura going down now that I'm cutting into them. And... Boy, guess when the war between us started. <laughs> they go down sharply, I go up sharply. Because I always like to invade. Um, you can have faster progress in the war against one race by dropping bombs, but uh, against everybody, your best bet is in uh, capturing. Because you're not just competing with one race. You've got to kill them all. Alright. How many ships do we even have there? Alright. Just checking out my ships a little bit. I seem to recall having more. Seven battleships. Why are they all spread out? One at Pund. One at Uma. One at Aldebaran here. I guess the other ones are moving around. Alright. Jared gained a level. That's nice. His fleet will move even faster now. Aldebaran Prime. Starting to get extremely advanced. Uh, cloning Center I'm just going to build. Because you never know when you'll want one. And make atmospheric renewal pretty high up because they aren't polluting at all. Well, that can't be right. I don't know. I'm a little confused there, but they don't appear to be polluting. But they're not lithovores. There is one trait that means you don't really need pollution because your people are rock-based and they can just eat it. Uh, I don't know. Alright. And then build housing. Make love and then make war. 825k population growth. That's pretty good. Alright mentioned before that I was getting antsy about not building, uh, I'm gonna put a couple fusion bombs, not that they're gonna be that important. I mentioned that I was antsy about wanting to kill the Sakura before they really, uh, got well established, but it's still the case. I don't think I want any of these other technologies on there. Alright. Build me a nemesis. One turn. Now what's happened is they have 400 production a turn, but they've been building things that only cost 100. All that 300 production has been going into a pile, and they're devoting it to what they're working on now. So that's why the nemesis is getting built super quickly there. Alright. Versions I'm not too worried about. Alright. Where's my fleet? Oh, they're all... Okay. Next on our hit list is going to be Sla, I think. If that isn't a nebula, it's going to severely favor me in combat. Bubulus. You have the best name ever, but I'm going to have to abandon you. And I think I'm actually going to protect you with the ship that's at Pond. Because all of them have at least some defense, so... Alright, let's give the game a save here. We'll lag it while we're at it. And, of course, double check that the Sakura don't have improved technology here. Weapons are garbage. Yeah. Looks like they aren't really developing their defense as much, which makes me happy. 
next turn we'll be at them. One colony ship back there, that's interesting. I'm going to go for their capital because you can sow a lot of chaos. Now, right now we're fighting in a nebula. Uh, that means shields don't work, just like in Star Trek. They have only good shields, so they're pretty screwed. And send in the invasion force. And all in one shot, team. And we've taken their home world means they don't have a political capital anymore, which means they have crazy turmoil right now. Well, morale penalties to everyone and such. Imperium, we just got way more command points. That's nice. Now we're going to get that automated Imperium. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Master of Orion 2.